me. Hey y'all, welcome back to Tommy's Homestead and Garden. So I'm in Walmart at the worst possible time to do a little bit of shopping. I said I was gonna wait until Sunday morning to do it, but Sunday I'm gonna do Sam's. So I need to uh, get some things for the working pantry downstairs. So we'll see. So y'all, I've been in there line forever in a day and I'm tired. Hey y'all. So I'm going to get right into it. So this is my haul right here. Okay, so I basically told you everything that I got. I did pick up some extra stuff once I stopped recording. Um, so I'm going to start over here with the Zatarans Dirty Rice and jambalaya this stuff never stays in my particular walmart that i go to on my side of town um so i decided to get extra for the emergency pantry i know this was just supposed to be the working pantry and for the most part it is except for a couple items that i know if i don't get it now it won't be there later so this was one. So I got three of the dirty rice, three of the Zatarans. And what I'll do is I'll take two of them upstairs for the emergency pantry and leave the others down here. Then over here, I got the two boxes of the four pound packages of spaghetti. So I bought two of those, one here, one here. And I already did the prices, so I'm not going to do the prices. And this is a great deal, though. And then these are flavored with meat. Don't knock it till you try it, y'all. I know it's great value, but it is a good sauce. And what I do to make it my own sauce, because it doesn't have anything in it, any vegetables, I bought um, a bell pepper. I bought a jalapeno pepper and I bought an onion because I have to get my onions from Sam's tomorrow. And then I have some ground chuck here. This is 36 ounces, 2.25 pounds. So this will be dinner probably when I get done. I will do this and most likely i'll end up using three of these jars that's why i bought three extra jars to go down here in the working pantry so that is still taken care of because i don't have any sauce left unfortunately and then i bought these um peas and carrots right here what, four bags for like 84 cents and I've been making, I had these with my salmon. I had these with some ham fried rice. I had these with just plain rice um, this week. And then I needed to replace them. So that's why I have four of those. And then over here, I have the garlic chicken voila. And we like this, like a quick meal. Everything's in one pot. Just add just a little bit of water. And that's it and the Asian style stir fry you can just add your protein of choice and then over here we have my daughter's favorite Tyson's nuggets so we got two of those for four dollars and some change um, then we got two of the hash browns right here they kind of look like the um mcdonald's ones so and it tastes good y'all and those were like a dollar and 70 cent and so these right here tuna creations were i don't know if this is the regular price but they were on sale for 70 for 70 i'm looking at the calories they were on sale for a dollar so i have ranch which is 70 calories lemon pepper is 80 calories and sweet and spicy is 90 calories. 
but it's still a good deal. 16 grams of protein, and these are great to throw in your go bag as well or put in your emergency um, pantry room. Then these little flavored water mixes are only a dollar. So that's why I got these. And I really got these for myself because I bought my son the little packets with the uh, Gatorade and all of that. But for some reason, he enjoys drinking these right here. It's only 10 calories. Um, and I think it's 10 calories. No, it's five calories and it's 10 of them in the box. And then over here, I got a two pound bag of mild cheddar because I don't know, we don't have any, any in the house. And I try to keep it in the house. Coleslaw because one day this week, I'm gonna do some fish. And then I got these right here for the family. And then these chicken drums, I'm gonna make these tonight also with the spaghetti. And this whole pack was like $4.97. And then I got, because I was gonna do fish tonight with the spaghetti, changed my mind and grabbed this instead. So let's go here since we're over here. I bought these right here for my garden. These are the blueberries, two different types. Um, it's supposed to be, I can enjoy these by next season. So we shall see what's up with that. Um, oh yeah, some vegetable oil right there. That's a gallon. And then also I got these seeds right here. I, I think I have another video with those, so I'm not gonna go over what I got. And then I have the blueberry yogurt right there, the light Greek because it's less calories. Then canned goods, I needed some in this working pantry. Um, I was looking for cream corn, even though I know cream corn has more calories in it, but I like cream corn. And all they had was whole kernels, so I just grabbed three cans of those for 38 cents, three cans of the green bean, and then two of the tomato and okra, and I think these are 98 cents. They only had two cans of these pork and beans, band camps, and I grabbed both of them. And then they only, they had a bunch of these, but I only got two of these because I have a ton of those upstairs and we don't need a lot of beans unless we're barbecuing. Um, I got this uh, right here as a treat for myself because I'll be wanting something sweet. So this is extra creamy whipped topping. And to go with that, I got kiwi. So this kiwi right here, I'll slice that up and I'll just put a little bit of that on each one and that'll be my sweet treat. And then I got some more butter, two of the 18 eggs, two of the ketchup back there. Sorry if you couldn't see it. Let me fix the phone. There we go. And they, I was gonna get more of the Chick-fil-A Polynesian sauce like I did the other day. And y'all, mm, all of it was gone. All they have left is this Chick-fil-A sauce. I don't know. I don't know if that's like a honey mustard or something. I have no idea, y'all. And then two of the bread. Y'all, I haven't bought bread and eggs in a few months, so. We've been doing good on storing our bread in the freezer, pulling it out when we need it. So I haven't had to buy any. And then with the eggs, they haven't really been eating a lot of eggs. I just got rid of my last carton of eggs last week. So then over here, I bought some Texas toast to go with the spaghetti and a thing of Velveeta cheese because I wasn't sure if they had any um, down here. I don't think they have a lot. And then I bought these right here for the kids during the week for school. Of course, these will also be like for the week for school as well. Um, these, if they want them, I really bought them for myself, but they're welcome to eat them. The turkey um, pot pie. And this is 320 calories. So I got four of those. Then I got some ranch dressing right there two of the apple juices for like a dollar and some change. 
one of the Simply Lemonade, two of those frozen orange juices right there. Y'all, those orange juices are everything. Like, they are everything when it comes to space and just throwing them in the freezer and forgetting about it. That way, when they run out of the actual orange juice, you have that backup. So think about doing that if you haven't. And then I have the chicken ramen. I'm gonna go to Kroger's and see if I can find the chili, the chili ramen. Then I bought two of the peach punches right there. Um, also skim milk, whole milk, um, two things of these crinkle fries and two things of the tater tots. I'm trying to make this a long one because I was in the store and I was trying to tell you why I was getting the stuff that I was getting. So then I got um, the red hot chili sauce. Still haven't found my tiger sauce. And then I got these right here. I might as well say for my son because he eat them up before anybody can get to them. I'll buy another bag tomorrow from Sam's. And then two of the elbow macaroni for down here in the working pantry and these right here you know if i just want to throw something in i just throw like one or two in and just like put hot sauce on it and eat it like that and then these burrito things right here for the kids i say for breakfast but i notice sometimes they eat them and it's not breakfast but they have like 11 grams of protein so it's you know it's not bad then I bought these for a dollar, Italian seasoning, onion powder, which I already have some, and garlic powder. And I need to go through that um, shh, that cabinet. I need to go through that cabinet and see what all I have. So this is what I mean by my flavor water. This is water, just have one of my flavor packets in it. Um, these right here, y'all, they better not touch my cereal. And they like it too. But I got these right here for them as well. And so that's it for my haul, y'all. Thank y'all for joining me. I thank y'all for um, being on my channel, showing support and love um, with, you know, changing of the name and all this. Thank y'all. So on my channel, because it's now Tommy's Homestead and Garden, you will see more of... You're going to see less of the workouts, for one. And then you're going to see more of my prepping. And what I consider prepping is doing my garden, indoor, outdoor, and showing y'all that you can um, budget yourself and go in and get stuff and start your emergency prepper pantry. Um, because we don't know what the summer is going to bring. We don't know what the fall or the winter is going to bring. No one knows that we pray that everything goes well and that there are no issues. But this is also food insurance. Just like your garden is food insurance. And if you are a person that receives um, EBT or food stamps, however you want to say it, you can buy your gardening stuff if it's food you can buy that with your ebt your pandemic ebt and your um or your food stamps is what i'm trying to say i bought this right here but i did ask them and they did say yes you can use um if you have that you can buy your seeds you can buy stuff like this and peach trees, any kind of tree you want to buy if it's like food. So I say if they give you the emergency pandemic EBT or anything like that, or you know somebody who get it, let them know that they can get their seeds and stuff from anywhere that's selling it, like I guess Dollar Tree, maybe not Lowe's, but anywhere that they accept, I guess the EBT card, um, you can buy your... your um, vegetables and fruits and stuff like that so that's it for that tip and i will see y'all in the next video and remember if you have not subscribed go ahead and join um like the video please like the video leave me some comments down below and share the video out if you can and also 
I know it's not a gardening video, but if you sow something, you will grow something. Bye, y'all. Love y'all. But God loves you best. Thank you.